This video is the four lead generation strategies that new agents should master. Hi, I'm Joe Poliak, San Francisco Bay Area real estate agent with Rise Homes. I hope you enjoy this video and let's jump right in. So the reason why I chose four lead generation strategies is because I believe that your lead generation strategy, your business should be like a stool. A stool or a table needs four legs to stand solidly. Anything more than four, when you're starting out at least, could be a little bit difficult and you could spread yourself too thin and you could end up being counterproductive because you're spread too thin between too many things. Oh my God, what is happening? So I think it's really important to focus on four lead generation strategies and mastering those before you move on to more. Number one is of course, most important one, it's your database, your sphere of influence, your network, people who already know you, like you, and trust you. Taking your time to follow up with these people, to build more relationships, to go to events, to go to parties, to go to barbecues, to go to your child events, to arrange for coffees, to just meet with people, build relationships, talk to them. I think one of the most important lessons that I learned from early on is you hear a lot of these scripts like, Hey, good afternoon, it's me, Joe. I hope you're doing well. This is a business call. Do you have a couple of minutes? Oh, great. I was just calling to see if you know anybody who might be thinking about buying, selling, or investing in real estate. If that works for you, fantastic. Keep it up. Personally, that never worked for me. I felt and it sounded very lame and incredibly corny and was just incredibly ineffective, especially because everybody knows five to 10 other real estate agents who's made that phone call to them. In addition to multi-level marketing people who's made a similar phone call to them and they're sick of hearing that. So generally speaking, whenever I'm calling people, following up with my database, building relationships, I'm actually interested in the person that I'm talking to. I'm actually interested in learning more about what they're doing in them, catching up with them, having a fun time. I actually really love people and love spending time with people and meeting new people and getting to know people and helping people and building relationships with people. It's one of the things that I really, really enjoy. So I don't really need to do some corny, weird script in order to alienate my friends and family who will never actually want to give me business because I have become this awkward salesperson. So when you are building business with your friends, family, come from contribution, build value, come from value, provide value, give information, ask how you can help them because you will benefit over the long term by really just focusing on caring about people. If you like this video so far, please let me know by hitting the subscribe button. I appreciate it. Number two is open houses. Open houses are one of the best lead generation strategies because what you have is a lot of potential buyers, potential sellers who are coming into a house, raising their hand and saying, I have some sort of interest in the real estate market. Now, oftentimes a lot of people are just looky loos or nosy neighbors. And of course you can be very nice to those people, come from contribution, build value, have great conversations and all that good stuff. But ultimately you will have a few people who are not represented by an agent that are buyers or people who are in the neighborhood thinking about selling and looking and interviewing, going to open houses and interviewing different agents to see who would be the best fit for them. And so this is a great chance for you to be interviewing to become somebody's agent. These situations you do um, need to work on your scripts and dialogues and just know how to lead a conversation so that you can establish and generate an appointment or a, a solid lead. So an example of that would be, hi, thank you so much for entering my open house. How'd you hear about the property? Oh wow, that's fantastic. Are you familiar with the neighborhood or should I tell you a little bit about it? Okay, great. Well, what's most important to you guys in this home search? Are you looking for great schools? Is it the quality of the house? Do you need yard space, et cetera, et cetera. You tour people through the house. You tell them about the house. You tell them about the neighborhood. Nice thing about a neighborhood is everybody knows everything about everybody else. And you ask questions and you learn about them. And through this organic interest in people and um, providing value and providing information, during an open house, you may potentially get one, two, three, four, five leads and future clients. Number three is door knocking around open houses. You have an open house coming up and so you knock around all the neighbor's doors. Knock, knock. And you invite them to the open house. Maybe you have some cookies, maybe you have a taco person, maybe you have some sort of an event or something around it and you invite people to the open house. And that's an easy way to walk around, introduce yourself to the neighborhood and not seem like a solicitor. There's a big difference between knocking on somebody's door and saying, 
Hi there, my name is Joe. I'm a local real estate agent. Are you thinking about buying or selling a house today? There's a big difference between that and knock knock. Hi, my name is Joe. I'm a local real estate agent. We just listed a home for sale down the block and we're gonna have fresh tacos made this Saturday. So I'm just inviting some of the neighbors over in case you wanted to pop by, take a look at what your neighbor's house looks like and see what it's gonna sell for and get some free lunch while you're at it. Would you have some time to stop by? Generally, this is a big numbers game activity and it requires a lot of time, effort, and being willing to face rejection. And it's going to be the lowest percentage success rate of any lead generation effort is door knocking. But if you have a positive attitude, you work hard, and you take your time to learn the market and show people at the door that you know what you're talking about, over time you may actually generate some results and close a few deals from door knocking around open houses. Number four, this one I don't hear mentioned too often, but I think it's a good one, especially during our market right now, is absentee owners. Is getting a list from your local title company of all the absentee owners in an area. So generally speaking, it's best to get somebody who's owned a property for more than five years, ideally even more than 10 years, because now you know they have a significant amount of equity in the property. And maybe you give them a call or you run the basic numbers in your marketplace and say, hi there, Mr. Absentee Owner. My name is Joe Poliak, local San Francisco Bay Area real estate agent. I was just giving you a quick call because you own this home at 123 Main Street. And I was just wondering if you've looked at the return that you're getting on your equity to see if you can actually improve your results. Improve my results, what do you mean? Well, based on my analysis, it looks like you're only probably receiving a maybe three or maximum 4% return on your equity. And it might make more sense for you to sell this property, buy something in another market and achieve double the return. Is that something that you've considered? Well, no, I thought about it, but I just don't know where to begin. Okay, great, well, when's a good time for us to get together to discuss this? You get the list from the title company and you can put the phone numbers into one of the phone number uh, getting services that exist. There's plenty of them. In addition to that, you can also mail them stuff to the house. Again, this is one of those long-term lead generation strategies, but I think it's a really good one if you stick with it, do it for a long time, and focus on providing value to your clients. Is there a lead generation strategy that you think is more important for a new agent to learn other than the ones that I've mentioned? Please don't hesitate to comment below. Give me your feedback. I'm always open to learning something new. That's all for today. Thank you for sticking around and I hope you learned something new. If you did, please follow or subscribe to wherever you're watching this video and I'll catch you on the next one.